Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorials and today I will show you some Adobe After Effects techniques that will help bring your projects to life. We will be covering some text animation, creating seamless transitions and incorporating eye-catching visual effects. So let's get started. Oh, and by the way, let me know what you prefer, before or after. Give me some truth in comments, please. Let's go. Okay, guys, before we will start, I want to say that project file available for download again. If you want to support me and got full commercial rights for this animation and use it in your own projects, check the link in the video description for more details. And now, really quick, just in five minutes, I will show you full process to creating this animation. Okay, so let's create this part with think and write words. Please select cursor, press T button to bring down opacity feature, add zero part keyframe and five frames, part value zero, and then again here at 10 keyframes, part value 100. So we have blinking for our cursor, then just copy past this, and we got blinking for our cursor. Then we need to do typing for our word write. We will use typewriter. So just drag and drop on our write word and press U button to bring down our keyframe and set up timing. So we have something like that. Then when our word write typing cursor should move letter by letter so for that we will use position so just press p button and create here first keyframe and then when w letter appearing we need to move our cursor something like that and this approach we're doing for each our letter that typing So we complete our think and write words animation and now we need to do transition from write to prioritize and then to start word. Let's do that. So here when our write words is complete we need to do one more blink to our cursor. So we just put a frame here and at two seconds we should have it like five percent for opacity because our rectangle have five percent in the same color as well so now we need to do size and position for our rectangle exactly the same like our cursor here right now so we will use position and scale for our rectangle let's create keyframe here we have two keyframe for scale and position and here would be a final keyframe so now in this position we should set up exactly same like our cursor okay looks good and let's set up easy easy for our position and rectangle keyframes okay and now we need to animate prioritize and hide our right word for that we will use this rectangle as made alpha and invert made for our words so for right words we should set up like alpha invert mate so make sure that here we have alpha mate and here we need to click to invert the mate and also we need to have 100 for opacity for this mate solid so now you can see when rectangle animating our word right height via the same rectangle and for prioritize this rectangle should be just like alpha mate but we need to set up position a little bit start position so it would be like that and as well set up keyframe here have transition from word write to prioritize and now just easy transition from prioritize to start so just at three seconds we put keyframe for position for word prioritize 
and something like three seconds and 15 frames. Prioritize would be going to top and our start would be coming from bottom, something like that. And we should set up alpha mate rectangle for our word start as well. And set up easy, easy. Okay, looks cool. Okay, so next step it will be transition from start word to our graph animation. Let's do it. Okay, so here we need to make our click animation like button. So we will use scale for rectangle like that here to match with this one. And let's parent our start word to our rectangle. So when it would be click word start will be animated as well together with bottom rectangle and then our rectangle should be going bigger as our graph rectangle so something like that okay so let's remove this one already and let's set up our easy easy keyframe Click and quick scale here. Okay, looks cool. And in this moment, when our start word would be cut off, we should animate our dots. So they will replace just our letter in same position. So for each position, something like that. And easy, easy. some cool look we can delay this position animation for each points okay looks cool and last thing that we need to do is that our line graph we will use stream path so just click on add button under shape and add stream path and let's animate end point at the beginning it should be zero and at the end it should be 100 value and let's set up our keyframe a little bit we need to hide this moment so we just can cut off layer at this moment and then we will have that okay looks cool so we set up our graph our transition from start button to our graph animation and last point we need to create circle ripple effect for dots so we will just duplicate this dot let's remove position and let's create scale animation from zero to something like that then let's duplicate this layer one more time shift for two frames and here and we need to set up alpha invert mate for dots six dot seven so we will have something like that a little bit play with keyframes let's see what we have okay a little bit adjust timing and that looks good let's pre-compose it shift plus Control plus C, give a name like Ripple. And now we can set up that for each point.
So by the end we got a really cool Apple style text kinetic animation that you may have seen in their commercials. So if you like it and want to use it in your own projects, you can download the project files and purchase the commercial rights. Check out the link in the description for more details. Enjoy and see you soon in the next tutorial.